For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross, that whoever believes in Jesus will not perish, will not die, but will have everlasting life. Ladies and gentlemen of Bath, today you need to know that there is a God, that you're not an accident, that you're not a jumped up monkey, but that you're created in the image and likeness of Almighty God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made today, and God knows all about you. He loves you today. He cares for you. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you're worried about. And my friends, he has a plan for your life. You're not an accident. You're not just a, st a statistic, but you're made for his purpose and for his pleasure. And my friends, this God that I proclaim today in Bath is a good God. He's a righteous God. He's a just God. He's a merciful God. Look at the cross. He's a healing God. Look at the cross. And he's a resurrecting God. Look at the cross and then the resurrection. My friends, I didn't always know this God. For many years in my life, I, was, uh, I lived far from God. I was raised a Christian. I went to church. I went in and out of church buildings, but to be honest with you, I hit my teens and I lived for the things of the world. I went after money, I went after women, I went after drugs. I was caught up in all the lusts of my flesh and I became an addict. I was a broken man. I was on the road that Jesus calls the wide road, the broad road that leads to destruction. Jesus says there are two roads. There's a broad road a wide road that leads to destruction and many are on it and I was on that road but Jesus says there's also a narrow path and it leads to life this narrow path leads to life and it's the way of the cross my friends all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God there is none righteous it doesn't matter who you name whichever moral do-gooder whichever philanthropist it doesn't matter all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death and judgment and hell because God is a just God. But there's a gift and the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Jesus came to pay the debt that we owe. Jesus suffered in our place. Jesus was beaten in our place. He was tortured in our place. He died in our place. He was judged in our place. And then he rose from the dead in our place so that all who call on the name of Jesus will not perish but have eternal life. My friends, this is good news. It's wonderful news. The angel said of great joy, which will be for all the people. But it takes humility. We need to repent, we need to turn from our sin, we need to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. And honestly, our nation has turned away from God generally. This message will be a very marginal message in today's society. We live in an age of political correctness, we live in an age of rampant secularism, we live in an age of consumerism and fear. We live for the temporal, we live for now. As a result of that, we live in an age of paranoia and fear, where COVID is exalted above the name Jesus. My friends, today is a gift. Life is like, like grass. All flesh is grass. Life is a vapor. We're here one day, we're gone the next. Do not boast in tomorrow while you still have breath in your lungs. Soften your heart and call on the name of Jesus. He's good. He loves you, and he alone can save, my friends. I'm so grateful for our medical staff and our key workers, but my friends, the NHS cannot save you. The doctors cannot save you. Your bank account cannot save you. Your celebrity status cannot save you. Only the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, can save you from the wrath which is to come. 